Hello and welcome back. This will be episode 14. I am going to start soldering my components. I've got my switch. Uh, I've got my wiring diagram up on the computer. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder my ground wire on. This is the last of my black and it'll be plenty to go from the switch all the way through the pickup cavities to the uh, output jack. So, yeah, this, this wire is nice because it's already pre tinned and it's got the cloth covering on it, pushback cloth. Um, put that in. Now, this switch is used. This one had cleaned it off. Cleaned off all the old solder off of it. I'm pretty sure it works. I just took it out with something for some reason. So we heat this up. shiny connection. Alright. <clears throat> and I've already kind of pre-measured <clears throat> I got I got black wire and white <clears throat> and I basically need enough pieces that I can traverse the from the switch to the uh, volume knobs and then another one to go from uh, where at? I don't want to go from the hot of the switch to the output jack. So all right. <laughs> all right, hold on a second. Let me get the guitar over here. Switch. Yeah, I got plenty. So, plenty to go to that output with uh, plenty to spare. And then I will need two pieces long enough to go to here. A little bit of extra. And then back to the switch again. And that will give me enough to go to my output jack. I won't have quite as much left over as I do with the black, but it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Set that one to the side. I'm going to have to label these, of course, once I get them hooked up and figure out where they're going. second one. Yeah, I'll know which one's going where once I get the switch oriented within the uh, cavity.
One of these days I'm going to get me one of those really nice soldering stations. These work pretty decent. That in, I'm gonna cut off the extra I've got sticking out so I don't ground anything to anything else. And then my long piece. This looks like a mess. I figured it'd be easier to wire this switch out of the cavity because it's just a small like inch and whatever wide cavity. Hook out the end of this one. And I'll go through both of these. I took a trip to Hometown Music today and I picked up a, a nut. The slots might be a little deep on the base side. So I'll probably have to shim it up just a little bit. But you know me, I have nothing against shimming things. Alright, so... I'm going to mark... At the end of this, that's my hot wire. So I'm going to mark it with red. That was a little overkill here, but you know, whatever. I'll know what it is when it gets where it's going. Alright, So then the black one's going to be the ground. I'll cut that off once I get it through. I never drilled my pilot holes for the screws on the output jack, so I'll have to do that before I actually mount it. I'm going to clean this up a little bit too. That's one thing I did not buy is a new output jack. But I've got plenty of them lying around. So, there's the switch. It's this way. So that's going to be... That's going to be the neck pickup. the green for the bridge. I'm 
That should be good enough. Color coding there. Make sure. Yeah, this is going to be the bridge. That's got a connection. Okay. All right. See, I don't screw it up. It's down. It's going to be the neck. No, it's going to be the bridge. It's going to be the neck. Alright. I screwed up. <laughs> Turquoise is the bridge. Green is the neck. If it's wrong, I can switch them. Doesn't matter. Right, so I'm gonna take this bunch of wires here, and twist them all together, so they'll all fit through. Where they're supposed to fit. That my spaghetti. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Let me go get my knife. <coughs> Get make sure this thing is still filming. <laughs> I don't want to go through all this crap and then find out it didn't actually catch or anything. It would suck. And not that I would undo it so I could redo it, but you know. Do they glue these poker chips down so they don't spin when you're tightening things? I feel like I should probably do something like that. I still never got my uh, socket set from the car, but. Got this and it works. All right. All right, I'm back. Um, the end of that last video had to get cut off because the uh, angle wasn't right, and it was just filming the fretboard while I was doing all kinds of fishing my wires through. Um, I did run into the issue where my wires weren't quite long enough to reach all the way, so I'm having to splice other pieces of other wire on there, but I'm still using the same wire, of course. Yeah, I made the mistake. I kind of knew I was making it while I was making it, but I was kind of measuring straight across from here to here. Not thinking about the fact that it was going to have to go through and then straight down and then so I had a couple turns to make before it got here. And, uh, 
by the time those turns got made, there was not enough wire. So, just basically taking a couple of pieces of what I cut off of my output uh, ground wire, which was entirely way long enough. And using those to make these wires longer. I'm trying to get them to twist anyway. <laughs> Do they make an electronic wire twister? I'm sure they probably do. Just put them on there and zap a button and then twist them around. This is not optimal. I probably should have. I probably should have gotten longer lengths of wire. I basically got three feet of white, and three feet of red, or uh, black. I mean. And it wasn't enough. <laughs> All right. I'll find that later. Probably step on it. Lego, Lego, it dark. Shut up, Scott. Alright. Once I get these soldered in and get my output jack in, the only thing I will have left to do is, uh, my pickups which I think I am going to go ahead and drop in a set of what I already have on hand until my special ones get here like I said I went to hometown today and stocked up on strings and got a nut so I can go ahead and all right I'm running out of power cord here for my soldering thing iron pencil whatever the hell you want to call it That looks pretty good. Alright. Let me pack this in here. I'll have to pull that back out and wrap a piece of tape around it or something later. I'm not sure, will tape stick to this stuff? Or do I have to use something else? I've already got my ground wire switched around. Push my capacitors down. All right, now I may have to splice a quarter inch of freaking. <laughs> what do we do? I ain't against the idea. <laughs> as long as the connections are good, I'll be able to see what wire's going to what.
Hopefully, like I said, the connections are good enough. Hopefully it will not affect my sound or anything like that. <coughs> need to get some shrink tubing is what I need to get. Problem solved. <laughs> There's actually two layers of cloth in here. Hope that didn't do anything stupid. Alright, so that's going to be my hot. And then this is my ground. facing this way so my desk isn't really set up for it. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'm gonna move this. There we go. Now we can kind of see. So I still got a pallet holes for the screws. It's right here. pretty. I'm a hot. Right here. I like to try to make a loop if I can. Kind of gives me a little extra. I feel like it gives me a little bit of extra holding on there if I can make a loop with the wire before I solder anything in. Alright. Alright, there we 
there's that. my drill for a minute. Alright. Go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Alright, there's my output jack in. We are getting so close. Oh my god. Of course I can't put that on until I'm about to dr drill a pile of holes for this one too. Yeah. Do a little cleaning up on this once I'm done, but shoot, we're moving right along. It's probably not the prettiest wiring job you've ever seen, but yeah. It'll do what it's supposed to do. Note to self if you do this again, get more wire. 12 feet. All right, here I am again. I got my fretboard cleaned and oiled up. I decided to go ahead and scrape the paint off of the top of it because it really there was really no fixing it. But it doesn't make a huge amount of difference in the look. It's so narrow that it just kind of doesn't even really make that much of a difference. Um, I put in these pickups. I uh, got everything wired up. I've sort of tested it, but I want to go ahead and put some strings on it. I'm going to go ahead and put this nut back on. The nut that I have, those slots are extremely deep, so I would actually have to shim the thing up about one and a half millimeters to get it set the right height. Probably, so probably what I'll end up doing is just painting this one. Uh, when I get my other pickups, I'll take it back apart and paint that. Get my truss rod cover on. The thing I like about these, you can adjust your truss rod without actually taking the cover off. It's neat. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up and I'm going to start. I'm going to just put my high E strings on for right now to get my bridge height adjusted. And check my clearance. I polished my frets too while I was while I was at it. I'm going to wipe this fretboard off again to get the excess oil off. So, next up, strings in action. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to stock up on strings today. What I decided to get this time was Ernie Ball Turbo Slinkies. It's a nine and a half to forty-six. Um, that way I can go kind of back and forth between uh, standard and half step down tuning. I had a uh, set like this on another guitar and it actually worked really well on both tunings. So, whereas you like put nines on and you put them, take them down half step to get a little too slinky. You try to tune tens up to standard. They're uh, a little too stiff, so this is kind of a good middle ground. I'm excited, y'all. I'm putting strings on this thing for the first time. So I'm just going to put the outside ones on at the moment until I get my bridge height set. I 
don't know how I ever grew up without a spring loader. <laughs> Almost perfect. Right out of the gate. Wow. That's exciting. Just need to raise it up just a little bit. Now, I'm not really sure what the benefit is of having this tailpiece raised or lowered or anything like that. I guess it just kind of changes the brake angle, I guess. Six, it's a little heavier than the standard 42. This should give me kind of a meaty, nice, nice meaty sound. I really can't wait to hear what my custom hand well PAS are going to sound like. I'm excited about that too. Just the truss rod a little bit. I could kind of tell when I was playing on my lower notes down here that they were a little pointy. I said before in another video, I prefer this type of bridge with the uh, screw slots rather than the ones where you just use the thumb wheel. Right, still a little bit low. Intonation is almost dead on. <laughs> Alright. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these strings on and then I'll be right back. And there she is with all the strings on. <laughs> It's almost freaking perfect. And uh, I do have to give the neck a little time to settle and see which way it's going to go with string tension on it. It hasn't had any tension on it in like two and a half months. And uh, so I do have one fret here I do need to file down. Um, a little bit of tweaking here and there, but you know, it's. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and chop these off. truth. I hope it doesn't turn out to be a lie. go back and uh, suss out what's wrong with this wiring. There's one thing I can't freaking stand is following a wiring diagram like wire for wire exactly the way it says to do it and shit still don't work right. That's one thing that pisses me off more than anything. So I'm going to go through this thing and uh, see if I can figure out what I did wrong. Alright, I'm back. I figured out my problem and I am now officially putting the covers on for the first time. <laughs> yep, besides having some of the little touch-up things to do, kind of going over this back again to get rid of little imperfections and stuff that have occurred. And that kind of thing. Oh, goodness. Hi. And uh, then once I get my, get my new pickups, of course. I'm so freaking tired, I can't even talk. But I was determined to get some sound out of this thing tonight because I have I worked hard on this thing today well I kind of worked hard on it every day but today especially I was off work and besides picking up my strings and whatnot I didn't really have any other place I needed to be And 
so I've been working on this all day. Uh, the last video I actually made earlier today. And, uh, so, I'm basically two videos worth of stuff. I got burnt the crap out of my hand a little bit ago. I was first checking the, make sure it wasn't my output jack that was bad. And I was holding it while I was putting the heat to it to take the wires off of it, and that sucker heated up so daggone fast. I basically threw it one direction and threw the soldering iron in the other. There we go. Place they're on. <laughs> I feel like I'm Peter Griffin laughing here. <laughs> or however he does it. Oh man. I'm excited. Excited me. <laughs> Now I know how one of them car guys feel when they get their cars to turn over for the first time in 47 years. <laughs> Put that away. I just dropped another screw. I don't know where that came from. It doesn't belong on here. But yeah. I've not put it through its paces yet. But we have sound. Turn up here. Now it turns out what had happened is one of the diagrams I saw showed a ground wire running all the way from the switch to the output jack. And of course you heard all that racket it made when I plugged it in. So I went and looked up a looked up a different one and it showed the ground wire going from here to the bridge volume and then another ground wire going from here to the output jack and that's what fixed it. Now this thing is like it's quiet. could just be from uh, being close to the television. And, uh, what was that? Uh, my output jack might still be bad. So I might have to put the other one in to burn me earlier. Right. Yeah, I've got a guitar pick up here somewhere.
was full. <laughs> I'll be back when I get this thing cleaned up. Alright, I'm going to give you guys one more look at this thing. turn this thing over and as I said these pickups are temporary in there until I get my uh, new ones get the shine and there's my satin it got dusty There's my back. My vintage go to tuners. Well, they're not vintage, but they look vintage. <laughs> see a little bit of a little bit of stuff right there but it's it's passable I got tired of smurfing with it <laughs> it kind of looks stealthy <laughs> I'm really happy with the way those inlays turned out too. Thank you guys for watching and I will make another video and a demo once I get my new pickups. But for now, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.